Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. Today in this video we will study elasticity. Well, what is elasticity? What it its types and how we will measure that? We will cover in this video. So let's start with this topic that is elasticity. Okay, so elasticity is of majorly three types. Okay, first is price elasticity, second income elasticity and third one that is cross elasticity well what are they see the common thing is the responsiveness the responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity that means how a demand of a commodity respond when there is change in price okay there is change in price and Ceteris paribus. What did I, what did I say? Ceteris paribus. That is keeping other things constant. Okay. That means when other factors constant. Let's say income. Price of related good. Money income. The population they are constant. Only money changes. Sorry. Price changes. It is called price elasticity. Clear? Responsiveness of a quantity demanded of a commodity when there is change in price ceteris paribus this is called as price elasticity clear next next is income elasticity well same definition responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity when there is change in income keeping other things constant ceteris paribus okay when only income changes the response of the quantity demanded of a commodity that is called as income elasticity and the last one cross elasticity keeping other things constant if the price of related good a related commodity will change then the response of the demand is called as cross elasticity of demand clear the definition how we will measure this all we will move to that First one is price elasticity. How we will measure? Say elasticity is represented by small e. That is percentage change in percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Okay. How we will measure the percentage change? Change divided by initial quantity into hundred. Yes or no? So I can write Q2 minus Q1 divided by Q1 into 100 divided whole divided by P2 minus P1 divided by P1 into 100. Yes or no? That means change in Q divided by initial Q1 into 100. Change in P that is price divided by initial price into 100. Right? 100, 100 can cancel. Okay. Next, what remain? Change in Q by Q1 divided by change in P by P1. We can write like this. Change in Q divided by Q1. When we will cross the, like take this denominator into numerator. It will be P1 by change in P. Right? So, I can write like that. See, elasticity will be change this one. Change in quantity divided by change in price. Change in quantity divided by change in price into initial P1 divided by Q1. Clear? So, this is the formula for getting price elasticity. Clear or not? Clear? Similarly, we can say that elasticity of income, this is price elasticity. Income elasticity is change in quantity in place of price, we will substitute income. Okay, Change in quantity divided by change in income into initial income, initial income divided by initial quantity. Okay, fine. Similarly, for the cross elasticity. What it will be? Change in quantity divided by change in price of related commodity into 
price of related commodity 1 that is initial price divided by Q1. Okay, so these are the formula through which we can calculate elasticity through the percentage method. Okay, let's say I will give an example of price elasticity here. See, let's say there is a schedule. See, this is a price, this is quantity. When price is 50 rupees, I will go for purchase of 10 units of commodity. When the price increased to 60 rupees, I just uh, decrease my quantity demand. Why? Because when price increases, quantity will decrease. So, when price increases to 60, I decrease my quantity demand to that is 5. Okay. This is Q1, Q2. This is P1 and P2. So, how we will find here? Change in Q. Change in Q means 10 minus 5. Change in P. That is 60 minus 50. P1. Initial price was 50. Initial quantity was 10. Okay. And what is the result? Find it by yourself. Just check whether it is same or not. 5 by 10 into 50 by 10. Well, well it is 5 by 2. That is 2.5. Okay. This is the value of price elasticity of demand. Okay. Clear? Next. Next is income elasticity. We will draw the schedule for that also. See. Let's say your income and quantity. When your income is 50, let's say 20,000. Okay. 20,000. You go for purchasing a unit by 50 units. Fine. Let's. This is your Q1, Q2. This is I1, I2. When your income is increased to 50,000, you go for purchasing more. When income increases, demand increases, I have told you. So, it will increase to 100. Okay? Same thing. Change in quantity. That means 100 minus 50. Change in income. 50,000 minus 20,000. Into initial income is 20,000. Divided by initial quantity is 50. Do the numerical and check the answer if it is right or wrong. Check yourself. It is 2 by 3. 0.66. Okay. This is the income elasticity value. That's right. That's matching with your answer. Okay. Next. Next, we will calculate cross elasticity. Okay. I will make schedule for that also. Cross elasticity. Let's say two commodity. That is, uh, let's say tea and coffee. This is best example to give related commodity. Okay. Let's say price of, price of tea, quantity of coffee. Okay. Price of tea is, uh, let's say 10 rupees. When price of tea packet is 10 rupees, we will go for consuming coffee by 5 units. When price of tea will increase to 20. When price of tea will increase, demand of tea will decrease. Yes or no? When demand of tea will decrease, demand of coffee will increase. Yes or no? We will not consume tea. That means we will consume coffee more. So here your Quantity demand will increase that is let's say 10. Okay. So how we will calculate your elasticity will be change in quantity. Q1, Q2, P1, P2. Here 10 minus 5 divided by change in price 20 minus 10. Initial price that is 10 uh, divided by initial quantity that is 5. So answer is. 5 divided by 10, 10 by 5, it got cancel, answer is 1. Okay, so in this way we can measure that uh, price elasticity, cross elasticity and income elasticity. So in this video we have covered what is elasticity, types of elasticity and percentage for method through which we can calculate the normal problems. Clear? Okay, so next video I will cover the degrees of elasticity and different measurement methods. 
To know about that, to update yourself, stay with my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.